I love peanut butter, and this rich and creamy small batch of peanut butter fudge satisfies a craving without leaving a lot left over. And it's made quickly with just four ingredients. Start by lining a small dish with a little sheet of foil. And you want to leave a little overhang on the side so that it's easier to lift the fudge out of the dish after it's formed. Now you can use parchment paper or wax paper instead of foil, but I really like using foil because it conforms to the dish better. Over medium heat, melt eight tablespoons of salted or unsalted butter, which is one stick, in a two-quart saucepan. Stir in a half of a cup of smooth peanut butter and continue to stir until it's smooth. And you can also use crunchy peanut butter instead if you like. So we're gonna remove the pan from the heat. Now we're gonna stir in a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we'll add in the two cups of sifted powdered sugar and we're gonna stir it until smooth. I like adding it in two batches. It's just easier to stir that way. You can notice how it's thickened up a bit since we've added the sugar. All right, that looks really good. Okay, so now we're gonna pour the fudge into our lined dish. And smooth it with the back of a rubber spatula just to make sure it's nice and smooth across the top. So I recommend using a four by six inch baking dish that has a base area of 24 square inches. You can also use a five by five inch baking dish with a base area of 25 square inches, or you can use a six by six inch dish that's gonna yield a thinner layer of fudge. We've got a link to these baking dishes in the description below. Now we're gonna cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator for about an hour. So since we're making fudge, I decided to make a small batch of peanut butter fudge using natural peanut butter. Since this recipe has been on our website, I've been asked the question over and over again whether or not natural peanut butter can be used. So we will see. Looks very good. Cutting the peanut butter feels the same. I'd say it works. Use creamy or crunchy peanut butter or use a natural peanut butter brand. Oh wow, it's good. It is good. Mm. The fudge keeps well for up to a week at room temperature or for up to two weeks if refrigerated. Be sure to check out these great videos and click below to like and subscribe. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.